Good morning from beautiful Hua Hin, Thailand. This is actually our third time in this amazing little beach town and we could honestly see ourselves living in Hua Hin. It's been nice to be in a place of familiarity after like three months of touring all around new places in Vietnam. It's really allowed us to kind of get back into a little bit of a routine, that's for sure. Yeah, full-time travel, it is so hard to have a routine because you're always changing to new hotels, new beds, new environments. Kyle's like, I think I know where I'm going. I think so. <laughs> and so it's hard to have a structured fitness plan or cooking your own meals yeah. and just the everyday routine that you have when you live somewhere. So important for us to come back and to be able to have that for a bit. Yeah, exactly. Definitely getting back to it. We've started out each morning here with a great workout. We're staying in a really awesome complex, yeah. which we will feature in a future video coming up in the coming weeks. So make sure to click subscribe because it's actually one of our favorite places to stay in all of Southeast Asia so it far. It is our favorite place to stay. I cannot wait to show you guys because it's an absolute gem and it's so cheap. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. We will be staying here for a month. So like we said, we'll be able to really develop a good solid routine and kind of get focused on some other things. And as part of that routine, we've been spending our mornings getting a good workout in, in a really awesome gym in that complex. But then also we're just a block away from the beach here. Look at this beautiful beach. What a great place to start the day. We're kind of treading through the water right now. And the water is crystal clear. It is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, it but is. But I'm noticing we're coming up to this like really deep part up here. <laughs> it's so clear, I love it. <laughs> and look at how empty it is. Like yeah. there's nobody on this beach. Definitely a really livable city. I've heard a lot of expats live here because it's so close to Bangkok, but it's really peaceful and you've still got that Thai culture, the beach, the foods. We can't wait to show you. our burnout is to come and find a spot where we can just relax and we don't change beds we put away our suitcase and that's where we are staying get our heads straight again get some routine and kind of plan our next steps instead of constantly on the go and that's why we love Hua Hin it really ticks off all the boxes that we love like it's close to the beach it's got a bit of a city life so you can go to the doctors immigration all that kind of stuff and then it's got great markets. Um, and then especially with our Airbnb, it's just incredible pool and little, it's kind of a resort feel, it feels like. So it's really easy to just kind of recoup and enjoy our time there while we, you know, get ready for the road again. Because it is really hard to do your full-time work when you're always on the go. I feel like I'm always playing catch up if it's either work or the content or whatever. There's always something to do. So it is really nice to be able to chill in one spot and just kind of do your work that you need to do. Oh, hi Poochies, hi. <laughs> so really cute Poochies. <laughs> and speaking of work, we aren't just gonna be spending the entire day chilling at the beach as much as we would like to. We do have a few things we've been working on behind the scenes that we've really been trying to get going. So we do need to go and get a couple things checked off for that. But maybe we should sit down and explain a little bit of what we've been working on behind the scenes. Gotta love the Tao bin. Another thing that we love about this complex, they've got a Tao bin machine right inside. So you're able to just order one of these coffees or frappuccino, cafe, cappuccino.
cappuccino things. So many people have asked us in the past how we're able to afford full-time travel or what we do for work. We both have remote jobs that keep us quite busy. The YouTube channel itself also helps support our travels as we do make a little bit of money off the videos. We partner with some travel-based and lifestyle-based companies and so we do have that going for us. But another thing that we've been recently working on here is kind of a little bit of an e-commerce side hustle. It'll be our first time ever really dabbling in that space. And so we wanted to do something that was fun, creative, that we could kind of build up over time. And so we've been working on a little bit of an Etsy shop. We've called that shop that time again, a place that you can go a one-stop shop for anything from Mother's Day, which is coming up soon. The first products we're featuring in the first holiday we're featuring with our products, but also birthdays, graduations and whatnot. And so being here in Hua Hin, it's giving us a little bit of extra time to work on building that. And so one of our first products that we're really excited to launch, our, actually our very first product, is our wine glasses for Mother's Day. And we created these little mommy's juice box wine glasses Really cute, really cool. Really excited to get them out, hey? Yeah, and I love my wine, so it's like right up my alley. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're working on those right now here today. And so yeah, if that's something that you're interested in checking out, as soon as we have the shop up, we'll make sure to copy and paste the link in the description below. So if you're watching this a little bit down the road, hopefully we've got it up by then and you can check that out. At the same time, the best way to support our channel is completely free, and that's just by clicking like, clicking subscribe and following our journey through Thailand and beyond. But yeah, we're gonna get down to work for a couple hours and then we are gonna be going down to the market because it is Thursday night and we're able to go check that out. Tamarind Market, just around the corner from where we're staying, one of our favorite places. For us, it'll be a couple hours. For you, we're going there next. <laughs> It's definitely been nice to have this pool. It is. It's such an amazing pool. It's one of our favorite things about like working remotely and working online is having those the freedom and flexibility to just take breaks yeah. when you need to and no one to. So midday, even though we're kind of done for the day. Yeah. But. It's like after you're done work, you know, to come down here, it's just like, oh. Uh. Better than shoveling snow. Better than shoveling snow. <laughs> Shout out to our friends back in Canada that are dealing with snow this week. <laughs> now, you may be wondering why we keep coming back to Thailand. It's one of our favorite places in all of Southeast Asia for sure. But we came to Thailand the first time last year at the end of April and we had just missed the national holiday of Songkran, which looks like such an amazing time. And so one of our goals on this whole Southeast Asia tour was to eventually come back to Thailand this time of year and celebrate Songkran. And that's coming up in just a few weeks. Yeah. And so speaking of getting wet and having that pool type weather, we're really excited to celebrate the biggest water fight in the entire world and the Thai New Year of Songkran. It's yeah. going to be really awesome. It's going to be really good. We're super excited. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> all right so now we've come down to the tamarind market our favorite night market in all of thailand to be honest some of the best food stands and just overall atmosphere that we've seen in all of thailand we've got music up on the stage a big ring of all these food stands and then a number of tables for everyone to just sit down at. It's not like a standing market or a street market where you're kind of just walking along. You can actually sit down and everything. So it's a nice comfortable feel for dinner. Now, we were just saying that 
This video may be similar to some of the other videos we've done in the past. We do plan to do things that we have yet to do in this area and also one of the biggest reasons we came back to Thailand again this time around is like we said earlier, Song Kran, so we can't wait to share that with you. So the coming videos, even though we've been here before, it's not gonna be a month and a half of repetitiveness. We might also be going down for about a week to Bangkok to renew my passport. We've yet to do that so we might run through that process for you guys give you an idea of what it's like to renew a foreign passport here in Thailand and then we're also going to show you around the condo as well so you're going to get a full feel of everything that we experience while we're here in Hua Hin. Kind of a little mini series of what it's like to live in Thailand and the Hua Hin area as opposed to just traveling from destination to destination. So I hope you guys look forward to that. We can't wait to share that with you guys. Make sure to click like and subscribe so you can look forward to those videos to come. But that's it for today. Until next time, bye.